Welcome to Geese 4 x 4 the most budget-oriented off-road channel in all the YouTubes. And today we are going to start 2022 off right and hopefully lift this thing. I'm going to show you guys some footage. We got two feet of snow overnight. We made a record uh, of 24-hour span uh, for snow in the central Washington here in Wenatchee. And um, just crazy. So anyway, moving all the cars around and getting everything out there. I made a little short clip of that. So that'll be in this video. And uh, we're going to see how much we get uh, lift out of these uh, coil spacers for this escape. But first, I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, last year I looked up, we were right around 320, 315 subscribers this time last year. And right now, as I make this video, second week of January 2022, we are sitting at almost 1050 and that is just incredible so i just want to say thank you guys 750 of you 750 of you from last year this is so cool uh i'm so stoked that you are here and i just want to say thank you 500 um, followers on instagram we grew last year and uh, yeah just an amazing year so we're gonna keep this thing going we're gonna do some cool projects this is like i said my little commuter um, it's an 05 Escape. It's a hybrid. It's green, but it's also green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anyway, we are going to put these uh, strut, strut shock spacer deals uh, in the front of this thing to lift it up. It's got a little stink bug to it. Um, I'm going to measure these. I will have a link down in the description for you uh, if you are an Escape owner looking for a cheap, 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 cheap leveling kit. I don't know if it's going to level it or bring the front up too high. We'll see. Um, I've got another idea for the rear. I've actually got some JL spacers. Um, see if I can't get those to work or if another Jeep one. The ones for this are really expensive. They're like $100 for just the rear spacers. So anyway, we're going to look at that. Uh, you guys know, if you've been on the channel, if you're new to the escape thing, uh, I measure first. I'm going to measure the bottom lip of this fender right here. So from the ground to the bottom lip of the fender, actually not from the ground, from the center of the hub to the bottom lip of the fender, we are right at 17 and a half from the ground, uh, 31 and a quarter. The reason we do from that center of the hub is because then it eliminates the tire size differences. Even though the tire might be the same size, it's a 235, 70, 16. Uh, even though your tire might be the same size, manufacturers make them a little bit different. So you go from the center of the hub and we'll get you actual measurements. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna pull this thing apart real quick and uh, slap this thing in. We have to pull the whole shock out, um, but it's four bolts up here. They look just like these ones on the spacer. And then it is two bolts on the knuckle, and that thing should come right out of there. So I'm not gonna film this whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of put it together, and then uh, I'll get you guys some measurements at the end. I might show you a little bit. I'll come up close and show you what I'm taking apart, so. All right, so on the left side, these are the bolts you're attacking. There's four right here. That's the top of the shock. And then there are these two right here. Uh, I gotta have to figure out this bracket thing. Looks like that this bracket with all these stays on there. So be careful with these cables uh, and brake lines and stuff. But uh, you know, just gotta bring it down enough to put the spacer on it. All right, we got the shock out here. So the sway bar uh, link is actually attached to it. It's a 14 millimeter, the same as the top. And then there's one of those slide sleeves that holds the brake line in and there's a bolt on the ABS sensor. So that's everything and it's out. I'm gonna uh, throw the sensor or the uh, spacer on. It's gonna look like that and it's gonna go back in. And that's how it's done. Well, there it is. We have installed the, I don't know, 40 or $50 leveling kit to this thing. Um, when I first set it down, it was super high. I went and drove it uh, just to get it sitting to where it's gonna sit. And uh, now I'm gonna measure for you guys. So center of the hub, there, we ended up with 19 and a quarter. So that is an inch and three quarters of a lift for the front. Let's look at the back, because I'm trying to figure out if it needs the back uh, up higher or if the front is okay. Center of the hub to the bottom of the fender in the rear is 18 and a half. So we're about three quarters of an inch low, which is the amount of JL spacer that I got. So 
Uh, I might pull the rear tire off this thing and measure the spring and see if my uh, JL spacer doesn't work. See if I get this thing sitting uh, really level. So anyway, it looks really cool with uh, a little bit of level with it. I'll put a picture right in here before. Here's the before. And after. There's the after. So uh, anyway, see what I get on the rear, I'll let you guys know. All right, well, I struck out on the rear with, I think they're JLs. Uh, they are five inches across. Show you guys what we got here. I was hoping, so these are five, and the spring is like six and a half. Um, so pretty wide spring actually on these things. And um, three quarters of an inch is what I want, and I'm gonna find one. There's a one inch one that they sell for these, um, but I think I wanna go find a three quarter, but I need to find one of these that the outer diameter is like six and a half. So uh, if you know of one, of a spring on a normal car, like a uh, specifically a Jeep or something that I can buy a spacer lift for, uh, I would like to know about it. But essentially this is what I'm looking for is a six and a half inch, I mean that's, that's big compared to that spring where my finger is um, this would fit inside of it as so I'll just put it underneath this factory one um, I don't know maybe I'll buy the one inch one that they have but we'll see uh, I'd like to do it cheaper because the one inch one is a hundred dollars and uh, hey using Jeep parts is always fun so that's what we got going on uh, if somebody knows coil springs and knows exact widths of them and knows that a JK or I don't think the TJ is like close to this. I measured the one on the TJ already. Um, and so I don't know, are the JK springs bigger? We're gonna find out. Well, it is the next day here and I'm making the video. I'm realizing that I didn't come and say thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, the link to those coil spacers uh, is gonna be in the description below. I actually ended up just ordering the, biting the bullet, ordering the $100 one inch spacer for the rear. It, I think it'll look a lot better with the rear just a hair higher, um, put any weight in the back of it and everything and it settles. So anyway, I have that coming. That's not going to be here till like February though. So um, we'll get that figured out at some point. I, I just went down to get an alignment this morning and it's got a bad inner tie rod in. So I'm going to be replacing that. But pretty much it for the Escape. Uh, I'll just be driving that thing, putting tons of miles on it and uh, keeping the miles off of these two rigs, uh, which uh, is the reason that I bought it. Yes, another car, yes, more expenses, but uh, the miles on these, uh, these are harder to replace. You'll notice that this video is longer and I'm doing my outro. Uh, after, like I said, all of the snow moving stuff, so driving through the snow, jump, not mostly driving through the snow, pulling the, the uh, edge out, um, I just drove the edge into two feet of snow just out of the way so the Jeep could come by it. I was really impressed. It just went right through it. I don't think it would have gone through the berm at the end of my driveway. That's why I didn't try and just drive it down the driveway. And then I would have been digging it out all the way down by the street. So anyway, the Jeep just drove right through it and uh, got us out. But uh, yeah, some, some fun uh, music will come and uh, you guys will get to watch some of that if you want to stay tuned. If not, we will see you guys next time.